Who's ready for Monster Jam? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we have series one of the Earth vs. Surf double packs to unbox and review. So that is right guys, uh, I finally found the Earth vs. Surf trucks. It took me a while, but we finally got them. We only got the double packs here, which is still alright. Still on the hunt for the single packs, but um, yeah, um, I'm very excited that this is a really cool series that Spin Master decided to do. I don't think it's the best series that Spin Master has done, but it is way better than the Zombie Invasion series, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so I'll bring the trucks forward here. So we have the Earth Whiplash, if it can focus for me, please, thank you. So we have the Earth Whiplash, that is a very cool truck, and then you have the, the Surf Grave Digger in, oh my. Just another beautiful truck. Reminds me of like a blue like Blizzard Bashers kind of grave digger. That's what it reminds me of. Well, the color at least. But uh, still, very cool trucks. And like I uh, and like I said, this is series one. Uh, only at Walmart, so you can't find these at Target. Sorry guys. Uh, on the back here, you have the uh, the Whiplash and Grave Digger uh, pack. And Grave Digger, uh, the body seems uh, like it's been like I don't know. It's like a weird green color on the back. Maybe it's like it's been sitting in the bottom of the sea for, I don't know, 20 years or something, I don't know. But uh, then you have the other double pack, which is the El Toro Loco and the Megalodon. So, uh, yeah, I got that double pack right here. Uh, here's the Earth El Toro Loco, a uh, very cool truck. We got what seems to be another yellow El Toro Loco. And then we have the Surf Megalodon, which is a perfect choice for this one. I was surprised that they didn't do, like, Earthshaker versus, like, Megalodon or Pirate's Curse. Because that, you know, that would make sense. But, oh, well, Big Kahuna would be cool in this series. Maybe as, like, a Series 2. Big Kahuna, maybe in the double pack, since Big Kahuna is, like, kind of like a surf truck, you know? Yeah. But, um, I realized with this Altura Loco color here, um, it advertises this color. But uh, we get, uh, you know, the yellow color. So I don't know if all of the Earth trucks were planned to have this color or if El Toro Loco is just the exception. I really don't know. So uh, we're actually going to start here with the uh, Earth versus Surf uh, Whiplash and Grave Digger. So we're going to move El Toro Loco off to the side here. And uh, we're going to get our uh, unboxing and review started with the Earth Whiplash versus the Surf Grave Digger. Alrighty, you guys, so here is the Earth Whiplash and the Surf Grave Digger. Uh, it's got the plastic piece in there to keep the tires attached, so you got that. Uh, here is the card that it comes with, so you have the Earth Whiplash's logo. Then you have the Surf Grave Digger. It would have been cool if it was like a, a, like a blue Grave Digger logo, kind of like how Whiplash's is, you know, something, and Grave Digger's not like that. Uh, kind of like this here. You see the logo on Grave Digger? If they did it, like, on the card back, that'd be cool, but... Oh well, but uh, you have that, and then you have all the in other information there. And uh, yeah, so let's move Gravedigger off to the side because I feel like the surf trucks are gonna be better than the earth trucks. Just my personal opinion, I'm just saying. But uh, here is the Earth Whiplash, a very cool truck. It does have the uh, earth tires from the Elemental uh, series, so that's cool. Um, this is like a, like a matte coat of the paint. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's weird to see Whiplash in this color, but I mean, it's still it's still pretty cool. And uh, Whiplash rolls really well, so Whiplash maybe making hit, uh, its debut in Slime Series 54, maybe I don't know. Uh, I'll talk to my lawyers about it. But uh, yeah, a very cool truck. So let's do our in-depth graphics review here on this truck. I'm just gonna move the camera down here. I don't know why the camera's starting to turn, but oh well. Right, as you can see, we have a design from Whiplash that would be on the normal truck. I don't have a Whiplash with me that I would compare it to. Uh, you have the Monster Jam uh, Earth logo, which is cool. Uh, then you could see whatever uh, whatever design that is. And then you have uh, the, uh, the Earth Whiplash logo, uh, some black spots on there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Earth, like getting thrown on the body since Whiplash is, you know, tearing up the track. I don't know, maybe. Going up here to the front and the hood of the truck, as you can see, you have the uh, headlights, you have the grill printing, uh, some more detail. 
the Whiplash logo is there. Then there's the Earth Whiplash logo up there on the hood. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back here, you have the Whiplash logo uh, again. And then up on the roof, you have the Whiplash logo one more time. And so uh, Whiplash is sitting on a black roll cage with an orange chassis. It has clear, uh, it has clear orange uh, tires with like a clear yellow orange rims. Yeah, I think that's how I would describe this, but uh, there's the Earth Whiplash, uh, a very cool truck, and that is the first, first Earth vs. Surf truck I have unboxed and reviewed. So now let's move on to the, oh, i got to move the camera up here a little bit, but now let's move on to the Surf Gravedigger. Wow, guys, look at this truck. Wow, I am in love with clear translucent plas plastic, so... I think I'm gonna like this series. Gosh, dude, just look at that color. That is an awesome color right there. Man, what a beautiful truck as well. So you got Grave Digger, and he does have the water tires, uh, which is cool. So uh, yeah, very cool release of Grave Digger. Yet again, another Grave Digger, but hey, it is a different, um, different version of Grave Digger, I should say. All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, the Grave Digger logo, but it's in Surf. Uh, you got a, a shipwreck in the background, and then in the back, you still have some tombstones back there. I believe that's supposed to be a skull and crossbones. Uh, cannot read that because the graphics are kind of blurry. You have a chest full of the uh, full of the gold doubloons, and then you have the oh, that's the R.I.P. Dennis Anderson tombstone right there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I believe that is supposed to be a crab. Could be wrong. Uh, the, ho uh, the house and the tree are still there. Then you got a wrench. Uh, then you have the Monster Jam Surf logo. Going up here to the uh, front and the hood of the truck, you can see the tail lights. Uh, then you have the beautiful flame gra uh, flame wrapping in blue, covering the entire uh, majority of the truck. I also forgot to mention that this truck is also sparkly. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on the well, you got nothing on the back. But up here on the roof, you had the bad to the bone, uh, the grim, uh, the grim logo with the skull and crossbones, the grave digger stacks logo, and then the flames going down uh, the top uh, of the truck. Uh, it is sitting on a like an aqua color roll cage with a clear translucent blue chassis. It has the clear uh, translucent blue tires with just uh, normal blue rims. So uh, this is a very cool uh, truck. Gl uh, glad to have the uh, Surf Gravedigger in my collection. Looks absolutely sick. Uh, I believe Gravedigger fans are gonna like this. So uh, there you go, first double pack uh, complete. Uh, I don't know what to do with them, so we'll just set them off here to the side. And uh, now let's move on to the second double pack, which is the uh, Earth El Toro Loco versus the Surf Megalodon. Alrighty, you guys, so here is the Earth El Toro Loco versus the Surf Megalodon. Uh, you got the plastic piece for the tires, I already talked about that. Uh, now let's move on to the card here. So as you can see, you have the normal El Toro Loco logo. Uh, I believe this is also the normal Megalodon logo. I wish they would have changed up those logos for the card, but oh well. It's up to Spin Master. I don't make those decisions. And then you have the other uh, information there. So uh, we'll move Megalodon off to the side, and let's start off here with the Earth El Toro Loco. Uh, very cool truck. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the yellow El Toro Loco, but it does have some earth, uh, like, I believe that's supposed to be earth or dirt, like, on the top of the truck. Uh, like I said with Whiplash, maybe the earth trucks are tearing up the stadium or the track, I don't know. Maybe they just got done with the killer cyclone, bicycle maybe, moonwalk, who knows. Uh, but cool, uh, this is a sick truck. I did not mean to hit the camera there, my apologies. El Toro Loco rolls very good, uh, so I don't know. Use Earth vs. Surf trucks look quick. They'll probably get taken or reserved on Instagram before YouTube. So that's just another reason to follow me on Instagram, you guys. You guys get to reserve trucks, and I don't believe any of these trucks will be left. If Well, if I were to put them in Sign Series 54, the pick your truck thing on Instagram, I'm pretty sure all four of these trucks would be taken, but I don't know. People might uh, surprise me. But uh, let's do our in-depth graphics review here on the Cell Tour Loco zoom in here and move the truck back all right so as you guys can see you have the el toro loco logo i believe this red stuff is supposed to be the flames uh, i don't know what it is on this truck though uh you have the monster jam earth logo uh and then over here you have the you have the teeth 
Uh, very cool. A uh, little bit, a little bit of earth stuck in between the teeth there. Going up to the front and the hood of the truck, as you can see, you have the chin hair. You have all the earth or the dirt that's up there. You can see the nose ring with the the flames going out of the off the nose. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. Then on the back here, you have the El Toro Loco. Uh, logo, and then you have monstergem.com and the tail lights. And then up here you have uh, some clear, yeah, clear translucent uh, horns. Would be it, it would be the normal colors for El Toro Loco. They're just clear. So that's a really cool touch that Spin Master decided to do. Uh, and El Toro Loco is sitting on a black roll cage with an orange chassis. It has clear translucent orange tires with some clear translucent uh, yellow orange rims. Yeah, they're like yellow orange. But uh, there you go. So that is the uh, Earth El Toro Loco, a very cool truck. I think I like this one more than Whiplash, just saying. But uh, now let's move on to the Surf Megalodon. Wow, guys, look at this truck. Wow, what a beautiful truck. Very cool. Absolutely lethal. And uh, he rolls pretty good as well, and that is awesome. Uh, but man, dude, just staring at this truck is just... It's cool, I'll tell you that for certain. All right, so let's do our in-depth graphics review here on this Megalodon. So as you can see, we have um, we have a starfish, and I believe that's supposed to be dolphins, maybe it could be sharks, I don't know, but they're there. Uh, then you have the Monster Jam Surf logo, Megalodon's logo. Uh, another, I believe that's supposed to be a starfish, could be coral, I don't know. Uh, then you can see the teeth. Um, that one has maybe a paint chip on it, I don't know. And you can see the, uh, the eyes there as well. You got some detail up there on the uh, the hood of the truck. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. Oh, actually, no, it's not. We got some more starfishes, and I believe that is supposed to be kelp, maybe? I don't know. You got all the fins on this truck. Uh, I wish Spitmaster would have put maybe a little bit more detail into this truck uh, to make it uh, kind of look like a grave digger here, for instance. Like, look at the amount of detail that they put onto this truck for here. I mean, and they just put, like, maybe is it like a starfish dolphins that they would put a little bit more detail uh, kind of like gravedigger uh, I would be absolutely in love with uh, this megalodon but uh, well, but it is still, nonetheless, nonetheless, still a very cool truck. I'm glad to have it. And Megalodon is sitting on a clear, uh, translucent, uh, aqua, uh, roll cage. It has a clear, translucent blue chassis with clear, translucent, uh, blue tires with, uh, normal blue rims, so they are not see-through, unfortunately. This isn't like the see-through crew. I mean, well, it kind of is if you think about it, but... Oh well, still nonetheless a very cool series that Spin Master has decided to do, and I am glad that I finally found them because it took me it took me quite some time, y'all. I'm just saying, it took me a while, but uh, we finally got them. Uh, so super cool to have all these trucks in the collection. So uh, make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free. You guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 800 subscribers right now. And also, you guys can follow me on at Monster Jam. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'm sorry, not at Monster Jam. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, my Instagram name is Monster Jam Fan 0311. I mean, I tell that all the time. But uh, you guys get exclusive content of stuff that I'm going to post. And you guys get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign up series of points competitions it is always worth it you guys but i don't force you guys to the link for my instagram is always down in my description i highly encourage you guys to check out my description i do post some key information in there from time to time so um we finally got the earth versus surf trucks i believe all four of these trucks will be making their debut in sign up series 54 and like i said i'm pretty sure all four of these trucks will be reserved on instagram so if you want if you want one of these for sign up series 54 i would suggest it i would suggest going to my instagram and leaving a comment on on that post so uh yeah um i'm very excited these trucks look awesome so uh this is monster jam fan 0311 signing out